Okay. Good evening, everybody. Um, my name is Daiho Roshi, or Daiho, and um, I think what I'd like to do in this video is demonstrate a little bit of um, Samue. It's a um, Japanese um, ink painting. Um, there are a few tools that we use an ink stone, which is this little object here, an ink stick, and brushes, and paper. It's best to use paper that has some what they call tooth in it, so that it uh, picks, um, picks the ink up off the brush uh, and it's not so smooth. I have some here somewhere. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's use small pad. This has some uh, tooth in it. Uh, yeah, let's try this instead of a bigger piece of paper. Because um, what we're going to do today is introduce you to the first of the four, <coughs> what they call the four gentlemen. Um, and that's bamboo. So, to, uh, to do this, um, this Japanese ink painting, you have to make ink. So what we're going to do is take, take a little bit of water and put it on the ink stone. I already have some there, but I'll just add a little bit more here. And then you take the ink stick and grind it. Now this should be a kind of contemplative practice. The reason I say that is because um, you uh, have to feel it. And you feel the stick uh, grinding on the stone. If it's too smooth, it means the uh, ink pigment is not coming off the, st uh, the stick onto the stone. So you want to make sure that it has a bit of a beveled edge, um, and you press uh, as much as it takes to get the uh, stick to give up the ink, and put it on the stone. So we grind this a little bit, and you get to feel the water, and it becomes a little thicker. And you dry the end of the of the ink uh, ink stick, and so it doesn't get all mushy. Now, these brushes brushes are important. There's I have several here. Um, these brushes come from China. Uh, you can get them through Amazon. They're relatively inexpensive. Um, anyway, they're made of wolf's hair. Now, one of the important things to remember about this is um, you wet the brush first. And that's so that the bristles don't crack or split, and they, like split hairs on on uh, people's heads. So we we'll let that soak for just a minute. And the other thing you should have is a little dish with some uh, water in it. Let's slide that over here, um, and <clears throat> that allows to create a wash. Um, it's much like um, watercolor. You use a wash uh, to Put in some background, perhaps some clouds, maybe maybe some water, um, or different hues in terms of the images that you're creating. Um, so I've mixed that up a little bit. Now the next step is to um, make the ink. So we take the brush and put it on the ink stone and mix the, uh, the water and the pigment together. And sometimes you get too much water. You push that off into the little well. Uh, I, I use a round stone. I prefer that. There are some uh, oblong ones, um, rectangular ones. They come in all kinds of shapes and sizes. But this is a nice little uh, stone for me. It's, it's portable. I use it. I take it to classes where I offer teaching on this um, process. So anyway, you mix this. Um, ink. Well, you mix the water and the pigment until it becomes ink. Now we're going to serve some of that aside and pull some of the water off the brush. These brushes um, take a lot of water. They'll, they'll, they'll hide a, uh, um, what they call, you can charge them with, with ink and the charges will last quite a while. So, but the thing to keep in mind is the, um, thicker the water, the thicker the paint or the darker the ink. So we want to find the right place 
for the work we're going to do. Now, what I'm going to do now is pull that water off. I'm going to dry the brush just a little. There'll be ink in it still, or on it. Um, and then we're going to make the uh, first strokes of bamboo. Now, that's um, it's not hard. <laughs> you take the brush on its side and place it on the paper and just pull it up like that and then lift. And we're going to put it down again and pull it up. And one more time. Now, if you do this, it might look like something like this. Okay? Notice that it's not complete, that there are blank spaces in the, in the stem or the stalk. That's important. Uh, this form of uh, painting uh, allows for uh, the imagination uh, to fill in the blanks and it's simplicity uh, that's important. Uh, the tension between the space and the object, uh, even within that space and object, even within that object, is very important. Now, take the brush and lay it on its side again, and we're just going to lay it down on these divisions between the bamboo stalks. You know, if you look at bamboo closely, it's, it's got um, nodules, um, little breaks in it. Uh, and, and the nodules is where the uh, stems come off for the, for the leaves. So we're going to put little nodules here. What I did was I rolled the, uh, the pen, or the, the brush, excuse me, um, and we'll put a little, a couple little marks here just to kind of flesh this out a little bit. Um, maybe something over here. Uh, like that. Now, okay, so there you have it. You can see the darkened lines of where the uh, bamboo is. I don't know what the word is. <laughs> Interesting. I have lost for words for that. Whatever that uh, connection is between the uh, sections of the stalk. Now, the next piece is to put a, a, a branch on that we're going to then take leaves uh, and make leaves. Now, this is a little more complicated. You want to get a very thin line. So I, what I do is I put my, th my little finger down, put it on the nodule, and use my little finger as a way to guide the uh, brush coming out. Now we make one line out, uh, make another one coming down this way, and maybe one going up. Okay, now same thing on the other side. Bring that line out, drop this, drop that. Now, let me show you that. See, now we have a couple branches coming off that bamboo stalk. Um, next is to make the leaves. Now, the leaves are very difficult. Um, um, they're the ones that really, the pieces that really get, mm, confuse people or make it hard for them. Mm, it's really not that hard, but it is, it takes a little skill. These brushes are very soft, and they also form points, um, flat edges and so forth. So what I'm going to do is I made a point on the brush. See, there's a point on there. I don't know if you can see that or not. But we're going to take that point and place it at the tip of one of these um, little branches and pull it out a little bit and then push it down and pull and then gradually lift. <coughs> like that. <coughs> we're going to make two more and I'll show you what they look like. This particular kind of bamboo has uh, three leaves per stalk. So let's pull that out. Okay. So this is what the leaves look like. Okay. Now what we do is all we're going to do now is fill in the uh, put the other leaves on the other parts of the uh, of the bamboo, um, and we'll be almost finished. So we'll drop that down, push, lift up, okay, pull it out a little bit, push it down, lift up, okay, one more here, down, off the 
page. Now the upper, <clears throat> the upper branch we have, we put that down. And we're going to drag that across the bamboo stalk itself, and, and, and pull that out, push it down, drag it, and lift. And the same over here. Push down, drag, and lift. Okay. So we almost have this done. I'm going to do one more little leaf here. Um, coming out of here. Alright, I can actually make two more leaves. Alright. Now, <clears throat> this is what our bamboo is now looking like. Now, the bamboo grows in, 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 uh, out of the ground, of course, so what we'll do is we'll throw a little bit of uh, ground cover here, uh, just a little quick strokes, form grass, and we'll and bring that around like this, and out here maybe, a little grassy knoll, no, a little grassy meadow-like thing. it. A little bamboo, uh, first gentleman. Uh, next time we'll deal with the second gentleman. I'm not going to tell you what that is, uh, but we have to finish this. We'll finish it with a, a seal, or what we call a chop. Chop is the, uh, is the artist's uh, name. In this case, my name is Daiho, or So Daiho. So means monk. Dai means great. Ho means Dharma. So, so Dai Ho, priest great Dharma. That's my seal. Now I'm going to sign it with my name. Just a little piece here, Dai Ho. And the month and year. Okay, that's how I tend to sign my work. And I'll show you now what that is. There we go. There you have it. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this little lesson. Um, all these materials can be gotten through uh, Amazon.com. Uh, if you go and you search for um, Japanese ink brushes, it pops up. Ink stone, ink stick, the whole works. Thank you again for paying attention and uh, for watching this video. I hope to see you again sometime. Be well.